Last time, you may recall, Waldo Wigglesworth had turned a vacant lot into a do-it-yourself diamond mine. And when the day was over, wound up as proud possessor of 200 holes in the ground. Maybe I could start a giant-sized miniature golf course. But at that moment, a pair of wicked-looking claws came out of one of the holes and whisked Waldo from sight. <laughs> Hoppity and Fillmore dashed to the rescue. Quick, Waldo, give him your hand. Uh, he, he can't give you his hand, Hoppity. He's not there. It was true. The hole was empty. But he just can't disappear like that, Fillmore. Uh, it's not like him to leave without saying goodbye. We better notify the police. Uh, what for? He didn't do nothing. They'll help us find him. Oh, yeah. And Fillmore and Hoppity started back across the lot. But as they drew near the truck... Oop! Come on, Fillmore! Uh, I don't think I'd better. How come? On account of something has got me by the ankle. And I think I... Oh! Well, now we'll never know what Fillmore thought, for when Hoppity hopped to the hole... It's empty! Gee, this is awful! What am I gonna do? That question was easily answered. For in the next second... Oops! Well, boys and girls, here we are left with a vacant lot full of holes and no more story. Unless, of course, but no, that couldn't happen, could it? I mean, a pair of claws just couldn't take us and it... Where are we, Uncle Waldo? We're underground, that's for sure. How'd we get here? Uh, those things pulled us under. Yes, there they were, the strange-looking metal claws. And holding on to the other end of them was an even stranger-looking creature. Fred Gadfrey, who are you? My name is Gobo. Question number two, what are you? Just an ordinary mole people. Mole, mole people? people? Come this way, earth folk. Hey, he ran right into the wall. Sure he did, he's got his eyes shot. Then as our friends watched in amazement, the odd-looking creature dug right into the side of the tunnel wall and disappeared in a few seconds. Follow me. Follow him, they did, as the mole man dug a tunnel ahead of him. Uh, uh, don't you mole people have regular tunnels you can use? Sure, but this is a freeway. How come you're still digging this one? I'm taking a shortcut. In the next moment, the mole man broke through into a large underground chamber full of mole folk, all moving about busily. <laughs> But they all keep bumping into each other. Small wonder they've all got their eyes closed. Good, and that's why they got them spring-shaped tails. Yes, it gives them a little something to fall back on. Make way for His Majesty King Globby the Third. Greetings, Earth people. We're over here. Where? Oh, so you are. Your Majesty, would you mind telling me why you put the snatch on me and my friends? Well, it was all that digging you were doing up there. Well, what about it? We got tired of ducking shovels. Well, we didn't know there was anybody living down here. Yes, and quite a spread to it. Wait, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> No, what is it, Walto? Glorioski, this is an idea. This whole layout here, what a tourist attraction it would make. Yeah? I can see it all. For a truly different vacation, go underground. Visit the Mole Folk Riviera. Spend delightful weeks close to the soil. See how the other half lives. Get away from it all. No telephones, no traffic problems, no jet planes. Just restful routes. You think people would really like to spend time underground, Uncle Waldo? Everybody does, sooner or later, Hoppity. Uh, but on purpose? Oh, I'm afraid you don't understand. We like our privacy. So, you see, I can't let you go upstairs anymore. What? Because you'll tell everybody that we're here, wouldn't you? I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I would. Let's face it, fellas, I'm a big blabbermouth. So, you'll just have to stay right here. Our friends are really in a hole. Did you have to say that? But we'll see if they can make it to the top next time in Six Feet Under or The Mole Folks at Home. <laughs>